Hey everyone, it's me, Jay from Interlocton, and today I'm going to be doing a video review on Pixelmator. Now, Pixelmator is pretty awesome. It's a bit of software that I've had for a while, and it's only around $30, I think. Um, it's sort of the alternative for Photoshop on a Mac, and for me, it's not just an alternative. It is the graphic processor for the Mac to have. Okay, um, you get this menu, you can either create a new image, open an existing image, or open a recent image. I'm going to go ahead and create a new image just for the sake of this review. You can see you've got uh, basically the same options you get with Photoshop as far as sizing. I'm going to go ahead and just do something 500 by 500. Okay, you've got all of your tools over here. You, of, co of course, can get this stuff to pop up or go away by clicking the view options. You have gradients, um, your swatches, your brushes. There aren't as many brushes as in Photoshop, but of course you can always load more. You have layers just like Photoshop. It's obviously not going to be as powerful because you're not going to have all of the filters and everything that you have in Photoshop, but here's the thing. This was designed specifically for Mac. You're not going to get this on any other platform. So, it has the neat little windows that you drag around, which are perfect if you've used Photoshop on the Mac. You know that it doesn't have that. In fact, it's kind of bulky Photoshop is on the Macintosh. Um, I'm going to open something that I created on Pixelmator. Got a lot of files here, so let me find it. Okay, I created this for a watch company that I was working on branding um, called One Wolf Watches. I created this in Pixelmator. Um, you can basically do simple things like this, or you can go all the way to open to doing like hard things. Let me show you a uh, design that I worked on for my website Toastpot. I did this in this program here, Pixelmator. It is an ad that we use for Google for our ad, uh, AdWords, AdSense thing. So this is basically something I created in Pixelmator. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if it'll let me zoom. No, it's going to distort stuff pretty bad. I'm going to zoom back out to 100%. You can see down here with this little thing, you can easily zoom in and out. The controls work great. You can definitely tell that this was designed specifically for Mac and so let me just do a sort of side-by-side -side comparison. This is Pixelmator, right? I'm opening Photoshop Elements right now to show you how bulky and sort of not free you are when you're using that because you've got tons and tons of room and you're not really enclosed in this one program when you're using Pixelmator. With Photoshop, it takes longer to load. You are enclosed. You have to literally minus the screen in order to get back to whatever you were working on, or to drag a file into it. See, this is the way Photoshop shows up. At least Photoshop Elements. This came with my tablet, so... I mean, it's still, it's a good program too, but as you can see, you're sort of enclosed, whereas with Pixelmator, you click on the background, everything goes away, you've got your one thing that you're working on, you can easily drag and drop something over there. Um, Pixelmator is just a really great program, and I recommend that you get it because for the price you cannot beat it you're not going to get any software this powerful for the Macintosh or for any operating system for that matter for the price. Pixelmator is definitely worth buying. 